Hey guys, this is Judy from Judinka Nail Art and today I have the get to know the YouTuber video tag for you. I am currently away and pre-filming some videos and I was thinking what could I uh, do something maybe different than what I usually do uh, in my on my channel and I came across this tag on Serenity Nails YouTube channel. I will link her channel below in the description box. Make sure that you check her out. She is an awesome, awesome lady and I like her videos very much. And she inspired me to try to do this tag for you. Uh, this tag has 15 questions and I will try to answer them. Uh, I don't have anything ready. I kind of skim, skim through the list. So hopefully this won't be too long. And if you would like to do this tag, then please feel free to do it. Uh, I will try to tag a few people at the end. I will, uh, again, put their names in the description box if I do. I don't really know how this tagging works yet because I'm quite new to YouTube. But definitely make sure that you check it out. And also, if you are new to my channel, I would appreciate if you subscribe. Uh, I post uh, twice a week, even though right now I'm at once a week until further notice. But I would be glad if you stay around and hit the subscribe button. And now I will start with the questions that are in this tag. So question number one is, what is your real name? My real name is Judita Fabianova Coyle. Uh, what is your age? Well, as you can see in this picture, that's me and it's black and white. <laughs> so I am much older than I would like to be and I'm definitely much older than I feel like. But again, I think from this picture you can kind of assume or guess my age, hopefully. Are you single, married or divorced? If married, for how long? I am married and we actually celebrated our five year anniversary on March 11th. So it was a week or two ago. It depends on when this video is going up. Do you have any children? No, we don't. How long have you been on YouTube? And do you have any other YouTube channels? I don't have any other YouTube channels. Uh, I am more active on my Instagram. I will again link everything in the description box for you. And I am on YouTube for probably, I think five months now. If I'm right, I started in like end of October, beginning of November. So now it's, uh, when I'm filming, it's uh, mid-March. So I would say approximately five months. What does your username mean? So my username is Judinka Nail Art. Uh, the name came from my Instagram account. Originally, my uh, Instagram name was Judinka123, and Judinka was my nickname. My friends always called me Judy or Judinka. And I somehow stick with the nickname and from Judinka123, it was Nails by Judinka123 and then I changed my name to Judinka Nail Art, I think it was six, seven months ago. So that's where my username comes from. Uh, next question is, what is your channel about? I am mostly about nail art, nail polish, reviews. I also like makeup, but I don't come here to the camera, so I don't really do any tutor makeup tutorials or anything. Here and there, I may show you some makeup hauls, but mostly my channel is about nails. What and who inspired you to make videos? I was 
cannot blank with the thought of starting my YouTube channel for a long, long, long time, probably three or four years ago when I started to watch YouTube videos. And I think one of the first people who kind of inspired me to think about it was Gina from So Guess What 11. I'm not sure if she's still on YouTube or not. If she is, then I will link her channel in the description box. But the final push was from uh, Hannah, from Hannah Eve Nails It. Again, I will leave her link in the description box. She had a Q&A video and I happened to ask her a question what inspired her to make YouTube videos and what keeps her motivated. And in that video, she kind of just said, something in a sense, just do it. If you want to do it, just do it. So I finally found a nice camera that I can, uh, you know, uh, make my videos with and I'm just using my iPhone for editing. So I'm trying to do my best right now. I'm not a hundred percent into YouTube. It's more just like a, you know, like a free time activity. So hopefully you like my channel and hopefully I will inspire you as well to maybe start your own channel. The next question is what is the best thing about YouTube? Definitely my subscribers, the people I met uh, through YouTube, I'm not some meaning in person but just you know in the comment section when we are commenting on each other's videos uh there is that vibe where i can tell yes in real life not that this is not real life but if that person lives in the same city we would be really good friends so that's definitely a good thing about youtube I am here only for a few months, so I don't really know, you know, much. For me, it's uh, definitely a source of inspiration. And because I really don't have anybody in my area who would have same interests as I do, this is a way for me to express my, uh, you know, my thoughts about things, to talk about things I like with to with other people and i think that's the best thing about youtube that i can freely come here talk about things and even though some people will judge me i don't really you know get offended by negative judgment but at least i can you know talk about things and there are people who are listening to what I have to say. So that's a good thing about YouTube. And what is the worst thing about YouTube? That's the next question. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't really know what's the worst thing about YouTube right now. I think probably the editing part is kind of consuming, time consuming for me, but I don't know what's the word thing right now. I'm still a tiny channel. I'm still doing this just for fun. So I think as long as I'm doing this for fun, I don't really see why there would be anything bad about YouTube. Sometimes the, you know, the thumbs down are like why people don't like it. But again, we all have a our own opinions, we like some things, we dislike other things. So I don't really have anything as of right now to say that would be negative about YouTube for me. Okay, the next question is, what do you wish you would have known before you started? Uh, I think how time consuming this whole YouTube thing is because I would like to, you know, even though I don't have the the best computer, I don't have the best uh, movie maker programs or anything, I still want to make sure that the quality of my videos is good. 
and it is really really time time consuming if you don't care how your videos look like uh, then that's great there are people who like to do just you know raw raw uh, videos i do like to you know i'm a perfectionist so i do like to make sure that what i put out there is presentable that it's good quality i know uh i probably never will be like some of the big names uh here on youtube so for me this is about having fun with it but definitely especially when i'm on my twice a week schedule that is really really time consuming because i have other things uh, besides uh, youtube i do work a full-time job i do go to zumba twice a week unfortunately a friend of mine is in a hospital and she will be there for months and months and months i have a husband so during the weekend i try to spend time with him so that's something i wasn't really thinking about when i decided to start with this youtube channel do any of your family members or friends know you have a youtube channel uh yes my husband knows and my sister-in-law knows however i am not really advertising this so uh same with my instagram account uh my family members do know about it uh it just happened that somehow they all found me so <laughs> they are uh, following me on instagram but with youtube channel this is really something that is uh private for me that's why i'm not coming on the camera i'm not really showing my face i don't think i ever shown my face uh, since i started so this is really something uh, very personal for me and i'm keeping it to myself if they find me that's great i have no you know objections to that but i'm not telling everybody walking around like hey i have a youtube channel come on subscribe to my channel no this is very private to me again none of my friends or my family members share the same interests so this is a channel where i can express myself and it is for people who are sharing the same interests as i have all right we are getting to question number 13 and that one says where do you see yourself in five years now this is one of those questions that i absolutely hate even during an interview because i am one of those people who don't plan meaning i don't see myself anywhere in five years honestly i kind of learned in the past that whenever i was really excited about something whenever i planned something it just didn't work out for me so uh i really don't know where i see myself in five years i'm hoping to be still around making youtube videos having great subscribers having active subscribers and same goes from my side being active uh making more friends here on youtube uh making sure that the videos that i put out there are good that people are interested in them that's all i can say as long as i'm enjoying this i will keep doing it uh maybe i won't be able to you know put up as many videos as i'm able to do right now because uh right now my schedule is allowing me to do uh some of these things but i really don't know where i see myself in five years so i don't know that's the answer <laughs> uh number 14 is what message are you trying to get across in your videos again i don't really have a message um i just hope people really like what i put out there i hope i can inspire people i hope uh 
I can be helpful with providing some information to people. I am usually not actively looking up any information, so everything in my videos is my own personal opinion. And I would tell you the truth in case if something doesn't work or if I don't like something. So I think just to be honest in general is something that I would like to make sure that people are getting from my videos and you know just have a chit chat even though it's just a one-way conversation but I think that's what I'm trying to you know get across in my videos in general just to be a person that can be your friend who is giving you honest opinion on things and i am at the last question and that is any advice to new youtubers i honestly don't have any advice in general i am new to this whole youtube world so uh Probably just, you know, be consistent, uh, be active. That's a large, a huge part of being on YouTube, especially if you have a YouTube channel. Just be active, be friendly, be honest. Try to put up good quality videos. They don't have to be long. Usually people, you know, are just curious about what you have to say in general. So I would say... Just be yourself and put up, put out, uh, you know, videos that you would like to watch. That the content of your videos is helpful, and just be yourself, really. You don't have to have the best computer on earth. You don't have to have the best program to create your videos, as long as your personality is out there and people like your personality as long as you are yourself and people can tell that you like what you are doing i think that the best advice i can give to any person who is starting with a youtube channel or is thinking about a youtube channel as i said i was really really pushing this back for three or four years so Sometimes it takes a little while, you know, just to the encouragement, maybe one person will be the one who will kind of push you to make the first step. And once you make the first step, then it's all about patience and consistency and just being, you know, a person who is approachable to others. All right, guys, so this was my get to know the YouTuber tag video. I hope you liked it. If you did, then please make sure that you thumbs it up. I would appreciate that and it will help me a lot. And I will be back with another video for you next week on Sunday. As I said, I am away right now. So until further notice, I will be posting only on Sundays. If you have any other questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And thank you so much for being here today and I talk to you soon. Bye bye.